I mean, hers look a hell of a lot neater than mine, but we'll be able to see the disaster first hand. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, I'm just a beginner. Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. It is another day. Today, I'm going to be doing a wrap dress. Well, I'm going to be attempting a wrap dress. Let's just pretend that I can sew. I've got this very elaborate pattern. It, it literally comes in bits like this and you've got to sellotape them all together. So I thought, you know, well me being a, a swimwear entrepreneur now, I should know how to do this. So I've got my mum here as well. My mum's trying to help. So they're all, they're all numbered. So this is number one, number two, number three. So I'll just I'll lift you back. So you can see I've sellotaped them like that. So this is the wrap dress. I mean, the instructions are really good, but the, <laughs> the problem is we've got to number six and I don't know where number seven goes. So where's number seven? In your hand. This one. So mother's got number seven. So let's have a look at number seven. So number seven is literally four lines. Four lines. Four lines. So it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. So, but why would it, why would they do just one sheet with with that on? So I don't know whether I just carry on that's going along in a line. Is. So that's number seven. I'm going to try and work out. And this is number eight. So this is sheet number eight. Now this is like got a curve along it. So I don't know whether this one sort of goes under here, but then it's missing, it's missing the colour block lines if it is. So I'm not really sure where that goes in the grand scheme of things. We couldn't get any further than number seven. So what we're doing, we decide to work backwards. So 28 is the last number. So we're on 28. So we're going to work backwards and see where that gets with. So I'm going to stick those together. I will leave the instructions for the pattern in the comments below. Right, so we're definitely doing better working backwards. So we've worked from 28, we've got to 22, and then it goes up here, 21, and now we're just working my way back again. Right, so if you are going to follow along with this, we've noticed that there's two 25s. And at the minute we're missing a 14 so I just we think it's one two three four five we think it's about seven across like seven a4 sheets of paper across so that this, this is how we're working on it at the minute right I think we are getting there yeah. so it's been a job and a half trying to sell a tape it all together it's roughly there. So now but these we're just trying to out. that'll go there and there. That's near enough, that's near enough. So once we've got all this we'll cut out the, the patterns themselves, mm. like the individual items. Yeah. So if you follow one at home, good luck. <laughs> Okay, so just so you can see what you need to do, here it is for your viewing pleasure. So I'm going to cut all these bits out now, I'm going to stick right along the seams now. Some of them went well, I mean this bit here at the edge we are a little bit out but hey ho, that's the way it goes. It's good to practice. Right, I'm finally done with the pattern. So we've got how many pieces? So we've got this is the so this is the back bodice on there, and then we've got this which is a sleeve, and then we've got this which is the skirt front and back, and this one which is the left bodice so that's the left bodice and this one is 
the right bodice and this one's got a load of little zigzag things over here so we've got this cut out so the next step is going to be to put it onto the material so I'm really pleased I've managed to get it cut out like I say I will leave the the link in the description box below well it's another day and we are back at it it's been about a week since I cut all the bits out so I've been keep putting it off but I think I'm ready to finally cut out the material this is I'm just trying to do it in stages because I don't really know what I'm doing so we've got our bits here I'll just show you so I've got all my pattern bits cut out so I'm going to lay the material out and cut them all out right I've got my material here but I've noticed the pattern doesn't say to cut it on like to put your pattern on the right side or the wrong side and I don't know if it makes any difference. I think this is going to have to be another call to mother and ask. And also, the, the material hasn't really got any stretch in it. Like, it's, it's just not stretchy at all. So I don't think it'll matter where I'm cutting it. And I'm just going to cut it. It only goes up to extra large. So that's how I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I've got a feeling that extra large, is, especially because it's got no stretch stretching it is going to be too small but it should fit somebody in the family it's a good place to start so right i'm stumped already so this is the green line well there's not much stretch in it but i'm assuming the green line is is going up and down like this and it also says cut on the fold now if i move it over to where the fold is right so i move it over to here then I'm going to have all of that wasted. So do I cut it across the top and then change the fold? Because it's quite a lot of material. You know, I've got, I've got, I think it was five metres or something. It's another, another phone call to me mother, I think. Right, so that was another phone call to mother. Um, my mum sewed all her life, so she knows what she's talking about. So what I've done is I've moved the I've moved the material so that there's not as much waste. And I was going to leave a little bit, uh, what do you call it, a, a seam allowance. But for the first attempt, I'm just going to cut out to the pattern as best I can and see what size it fits. It'll fit somebody in the family, I'm sure. So I'm going to, again, get cracking. Right, I've tucked it down now. I'm going to cut it out. Well, I actually did leave a little bit of a hem allowance. I lied. Right, I think I've managed to get the bodice bit out of the other side where I saved, where I moved it before. So I'm saving material here, so I should be able to get these two bodices because I had the, the other bit of material here, what I cut the skirts with, and I'm going to get the bodice out of this side. Right, I'm on to the right bodice. So I need one of this, so it says wrap dress, right bodice, cut one. Now the green line has to be going that way and the stretch has to be going that way. Now because of the material, I've picked the stretch as very minimal, but I think the stretch is going that way and the green is going that way. I mean, I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can tell by looking at it. But I think that is the case. I'm not sure if it matters if the material moves. Like I don't know how many pins I'm supposed to put in here. I've only put a, a few in. Cutting out this bit, this zigzag bit is going to be difficult. This is the zigzag that I'm cutting out here. That's pretty tricky. Actually, I think what I'll do 
because I know I said I wasn't leaving a a gap for the seam the allowance but I have I think I would have been better off with my rotary cutter there. So when I'm cutting this out, I'm, I've just come across these two little things. Now this is the first page of the instructions. And it is to start with this bodice piece, but I haven't I've cut out the other bits. But it says, using a disappearing fabric marker. I haven't got a disappearing fabric marker. But it also... It doesn't say what those notches are. So, I don't know what the notches are for. I might have to Google that. Well, I'm back again. <laughs> well, you probably didn't even notice that I was gone because this should be just one continuous video. But it's been about a week later and I'm still on to the point of um, I've just cut my dress out. What I've come to the realisation is this dress is not going to fit me. No way, no how. I should have followed the instructions and made it out of a stretch knit fabric. But what I didn't realise was it wasn't a full wrap. It's a, a fake wrap, a full wrap. So it's a literally going to be an over the head job. And given the material that I've used and the fact when I put the skirt panel on half of my body it's not going to go anywhere near me but I'm still going to persevere and I'm still going to carry on making it because I've committed now and we'll, you know it's good practice anyway and it was like I say I keep saying it was only three pound a meter so we're going to crack on with that so I just wanted to let you know that is where I'm at with it so let's get on Right, I've managed to cut all the bits out. I mean, they're not perfect by any means. And I've just realised on the pattern it says use a stretch or something. So there's all my patterns. There's the two halves of the skirt up there. So we're going to go for it. Yeah, so it says on the pattern, <laughs> use knit fabrics only. I think they mean like a jersey stretch, but oh well. Right, I think this is going to be the hardest bit because looking at these instructions, it's just like may as well be in another language. I forgot I bought some dressmaker's chalk, so that'll go in place of the dissolved disappearing marker. But on, hold on, on the instructions, it says you've got to mark the pleats evenly and then come up looking something like this. Oh, this is just going to get far too complicated. I mean, how do I mark it without... I don't know how to mark the fabric. And they've marked the outside of the fabric. Oh, I'll have to read these instructions a bit better. So, it says, start with the right-hand front bodice piece and use a disappearing marker. Draw lines from the inward and outward points of the zigzags at the side seams. How can I draw that line when the paper's on it? Or do I just mark it on with the ruler and guess? That's what I'll do. I'll just guess. I'll find a ruler. Right, I think this is going to be easier said than done, to be honest. So I'm going to fold this back. Actually, I'll, if I mark on the paper where the... If I mark on the paper where the dotted lines are and then join them up with my ruler... Right, and now, 
should just be able to. Oh, you see, it's hard when the material's moving. Take it from there. Oh. Really hard when the material moving. Made a right pig's ear of that. This is just gonna look like a dog's dinner, this. So you can see, we've got the lines here. Actually, they're showing up better on camera, but they're not even even now. Oh, hold on, that one went skew with. Now, I've got to try and do what these have done here, which I think means turn the material over. Draw lines from the inward and outward points of the zigzags at the side seam, following the length shown on the pattern. Making all lines finish evenly. Well, maybe it's not. Pleat those lines together. Matching the lines carefully. What lines? And evenly. And pin in place. You should make four pleats. So would that be... One. Two. Three, four. Is it from the outside? No. We we'll start at that one. Bring that. The instructions aren't that straightforward. Like if you're bringing that to there, why do you need that? I don't understand. Had a bit of a dilemma because you need to gather this like that but you need to be able to see the yellow lines so what I'm doing is I've turned the material over and I can just about see the yellow lines from behind so I'm just putting the yellow lines on both sides and I've been onto the Great British Sewing Bees helpline aka me mum so she's been helping telling us what I need to do and that because at first I thought the instructions were really really good and although I'm really grateful that we've got a you know we've been able to get this free pattern like it didn't tell you if you should cut out on the right side or the wrong side of the material yeah I think you should have cut out on the wrong side of the material then maybe these dots would have been in the right place I don't know and I guess because I've never done anything like this before I think the most I've made is a pillowcase right and then what I'm gonna try and do is we're gonna try and pinch because I'm making pleats so I'm gonna so where the yellow is on there and the yellow is on there that's where I need to pin Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just go with it. <laughs> 